Tim Sendrick was on the stand calling the shots for Elio and had been with him for years. And when they got close to running the championship last year, Tim Sendrick got One to go. moved One over to, go. Nice. to Will Powers' car. White flag is out for Elio Castroneves, the only man ever to win twice here at St. Petersburg, is now on his way to another victory. And what a way to start the 2012 campaign. Down into turn four for the last time. No pressure from Scott Dixon, who is five and a half seconds behind. Oh, but the driver's feeling the pressure, Marty, because when you're in there, you're just making sure that you're staying away from the wall, doing everything correctly. You're listening to everything in the car. And into turn number 10, the last time on Dan Weldon Way. And one of the guys who knew Dan Weldon oh so well, and I'm sure he's thinking of him after he crosses the finish line. It's Elio Castroneves coming out of turn number 14, down the front straightaway, and oh, what a way to start the season. Win number three at St. Petersburg. Ray, Ray Hall still giving uh, Castroneves all the time. Oh, the, the Casno. Yeah. Well, see, as soon as one person has a little bit of a checkout, the next guy behind is like, ah, I got you. And I think is the faster of all three of these guys right here. Third, fourth, and fifth right there. On the final lap of the race, the white flag has gone out to Will Power. There he is. He was denied the pole here yesterday, but has made the noise here in the race itself as he enjoyed a 2.8 second advantage over Scott Dixon. There is Briscoe and Hildebrand as they battled for 14th position. As we follow Will Power. Great strategy from the Penske team today. And prior to this weekend, the furthest back a winner has ever come was third, Elio Castro in 2010. But today, Will Power comes from ninth starting position and he takes the checkered flag to win the Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama. Coming down for the white flag. Officially 1.085 seconds separates first and second on the last lap and Power will get by Viso into turn one, putting Viso between himself and second place Pagano. That could have cost Pagano unless Viso just pulls out of the way right here. And he, and he does. Nice. Good. Oh, he's coming. But the, the fact that they told Power that he could stand on it. Yeah. And we heard at the same time Bobby Rahal tell Sato, save, 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 and Sato stopped later. That to me is unbelievable. Just I really didn't think he had enough. Well, yeah. I know they, they didn't. They want to do, oh, oh and Sato's in better. trouble. Sato, third place. He was going to be on the podium. Oh, man. Not going to have enough because they're in the hairpin on the last lap, and here comes off the corner Will Power and Pagano. And Power is saying, Penalty? What penalty? I don't need a penalty. I start 12th and win the 38th Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. Whoa! As Power comes off of the 11th corner and sees the white flag, one more lap to go. The interval. About five car links. Sato steadily in third. Castro Nevis fourth. Franchitti fifth. Incredible season so far for Will Power. About to win his third straight race here. The 
the championship has eluded him. This may be the year of willpower altogether. No rain, unbelievably no rain to dampen the spirits and the ability of these eyes on IndyCar drivers. Will Power off the victory hairpin down the front stretch. And the Aussie simply overpowers his Brazilian competitors and wins at Sao Paulo. Everybody standing, left, listen left, to the crowd. White flag is out. Dario Franchitti takes the defensive line into one. Soto taking a peek. Inside, 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 inside. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, buddy. Yellow, yellow, yellow. The yellow is out. Should have waited to coming out of two. We talked about that. We talked about his patience. And for the third time in his career, Dario Franchitti is going to win the 500, and all three times it's going to be under caution. This is a race where you cannot make a mistake. I, that was very hard. Sada was oh. close, but he, I think he got on that white line again. He did. Tony Canale is going to finish third. Remember, results are not official. We'll get word from IndyCar. But right now, here they come down the front straightaway. And Dario Franchitti is going to join uh, an elite group as he is going to become a three-time winner at Indianapolis. What a race. If you'd have told him at the beginning of the race, you'll finish second after starting 14th, I think he'd have taken it. Well, he's done a magnificent job, especially in these last restarts that we've had, and that's been a bonus to him because he's been able to move up in each one of those restarts because he was prepared for the green flag where the other drivers maybe were just a little bit asleep at the switch. The white flag lap, it's going to be a wire-to-wire -wire victory with a slight two-hour delay in between for that man in the number nine, unless something unforeseen happens. Dixon skating towards a victory here in 2012 at the return to Belle Isle. We talked about a two-hour delay. Very difficult for these drivers to get back into the cars and turn their switch on to be able to focus here at high speed, just like they did when we started the event, but impressive what they've done here as athletes. This could be, if he finishes it off, the first wire-to-wire -wire win since Barber back in 2011 when Will Power pulled that feed off. Through the fountain section, one last time, lights up the left front tire. He's got enough breathing room. He doesn't have to force the issue. Heading for turn 13. One more corner to go. Scott Dixon, for the 28th time in his career, is going to win here on Belle Isle in Detroit. Graham Rahal may be on his way to his second victory in the eyes on IndyCar series. But Justin Wilson. Whoa! Oh, he, he hit the wall. He hit the wall. Unbelievable. Oh, no. Keep it going there. Keep going. Keep going, Graham. Nice wave. They want him to keep going. Normally, if you have contact, he's they got, go. He's got no damage. Way. No way. They damage. go yellow. But Wilson's got to get past it before they go yellow. He's got to pass it in case they go yellow. Justin Wilson takes the inside and passes Ray Hall for the lead with less than two laps to go. Ray Hall bumped the wall coming out of four. And Justin Wilson will take the white flag. One more lap to go. Unbelievable that Justin Wilson is on his way to victory. What a turn of events for Graham Rahal, but what a gift for Justin Wilson, who hasn't won since 2009, and here's the checkered flag, and Justin Wilson wins at Texas. White flag is going to be coming out this time by. One more mile for Ryan Hunter Ray. Through turns one and two smoothly. He can almost coast home from here. The lead is now up to 4.6 seconds over Tony Kanaan. Through turns three and four for the final time. Ryan Hunter Ray, his sixth career win and second win in Milwaukee. Tony Kanaan has passed Scott Dixon for third.
move Kanan up to third place. Oh, oh Catherine and Leg. Catherine Legg is in the fence, and Graham Rahal just missed her, and the race is going to end under caution. And now, Ryan Hunter Ray will pick up his seventh career win here at Iowa Speedway, and Tony Kanan will get a podium. He finished in third spot. For Bourdais, if he cannot get his car in reverse and move himself oh. out of both tires, it will be a full course yellow. And it's probably going to be now anyways. Then Frankini gets into the two of Ryan Briscoe. And then more contact with Andretti, Carpenter, the 77 of Pagano, who was going to have to serve a drive through penalty for the block that he laid on Newgarden. Wow, this thing has just gone crazy here since the restart. And that's what Toronto does for you. Full course caution. And I'm not sure they're going to be able to get this all cleaned up before uh, we run out of laps. And I don't think so, but you also have to feel for Ryan Briscoe, who was having a great day. Didn't look like he had the fastest car on the track, but was very smart. In just trying to run his race all, all the way to the end. Just want to let you know, IndyCar has looked at everything, and they considered all those incidents that brought out this final caution, our third of the day, as racing incidents. No penalties will be assessed. And there comes Ryan hunter Ray saluting the crowd. As he comes down to get the checkered flag. Way to go, man. Way to go. Beautiful drive. Beautiful drive. Make sure you wave to your fans. Make sure you wave to the fans. Okay, well, here we go. This is going to be it. Coming down for the white flag. One more lap to go, and Takuma's going to have to get it done in the next 2.2 miles. That's left. Bring it home. Bring it home. White flag. Well, never even used it on the straightaway. They told him he only had one to go. So he wants to, I think he could get away with two pushes myself because you could deactivate it and you get a full length of your timer if you even have one second left the last time you hit it. But they told him on the radio, Taku, you have only one push. So he's saving that here for the final stages of this lap. But both of them have just driven a great race. In fact, this has been a very entertaining afternoon. A lot of passing, no cautions. It's been green from start to hopefully finish here in just a few seconds. If Sato is going to do it, he's going to have to do it very, very quickly. Here's turn 12 down the straightaway. Let's see if Takuma can close in. Both on it. Both on it. Yep. But not close enough to make a move. Sato just used his timer up. And so, Elio will come off of turn number 13. Three times a bridesmaid, but never a bride until today. But Elio Castroneves wins the Edmonton Indy. He thought he had won in 2010. This time, there was no denying. Dixon will come around and take the white flag. One more lap to go in this mid-Ohio 200. Pagano's just doesn't look like he's worried about fuel no. either right now to me. Exactly. <laughs> Pushing power. Cap is big now, four seconds gone. And again, Ryan Hunter Ray Indy cannot. Ryan Hunter Ray cannot lose any more points. But Scott Dixon is going to gain some in the battle for the championship for 2012, which has in a few yards, shall we say. Three races remaining. Next is Sonoma, California, the road course. Then the street course in Baltimore, Maryland. And the season ends on the Oval at Fontana, California, a 500-miler. Just a great performance from Scott Dixon. He and the crew that got him out ahead of Will Power has resulted in a victory for Scott Dixon, his fourth here at Mid-Ohio, 29th of his career, second win this season. He also won at Detroit. Hey, Bob, here's Rubens Barrichello. Man, what a run for this guy. His previous high watermark for the season, seventh at Iowa, eighth on a road course at Barber. He's currently P4. Great for the, not just Barrichello, but this race team. His drivers have been critical, uh, you know, of performance, but they're stepping up. They're, uh, you know, fourth right now with him. They're leaving the, leaving the Oval Championship tied 
with Tony Kanon for the lead in the Oval Championship. So a uh, breath of fresh air for Jimmy Bassett and the KV Racing Team. Great result for Rubens if he can hang on. Yep, he's got uh, Graham Rahal breathing down his neck, though. Meanwhile, in turn number six, here is Ryan Briscoe. Just a few more corners to go, and he is on the push the pass. Now we got it worked out. Only one more passing opportunity, and I don't think that's going to happen as Will Power is not close enough to Ryan Briscoe to make the pass. Let's see how things go here. Closes in just a little bit. And through corner number 11, and it's going to be a Team Penske win, but not the guy that we thought was going to win the race. Will Power finishes second to Ryan Briscoe, who wins here at the GoPro Indy Grand Prix of Sonoma. Ryan Briscoe wins the race, power second, Dario Franchitti. I think the only saving grace for Hunter Ray, Ryan Briscoe has no push to pass. Uh, Hunter Ray is going to be impossible to pass oh, yeah. in this <laughs> last lap, let me tell you. I don't care how many push passes Ryan Briscoe has. <laughs> Take onboard missiles to get him out of the way at this point in time. This is the lap that has to be perfect for Hunter Ray. A little wide off of the hairpin. Briscoe's still there. Will Power has gotten back around Oriel Serbia. So that's so he 17 picks, now. Yep. Hunter Ray, about one mile to go. Power now trying to set his sights on Barrichello, who so forcefully moved him out of the way in the hairpin. Championship looks to still be alive. Ryan Hunter Ray qualifying did not work his way, didn't start this race where he wanted to through turn nine. If he can hold on, it would be his ninth career win, fourth win of the season. One corner to go. Ryan Hunter Ray makes the most of this day, keeps the championship alive. It will come down to the final race of the season. Ryan Hunter Ray wins in Baltimore. Franchitti has about a tenth of a second oh, advantage. Castro Neves is flying. Those tires are working, so it's Castro Neves. Look at him on the high side. But only one more lap to go as the white oh. flag comes out. Can Castro Neves do it in the, in the meantime? Who's going to win this thing? <laughs> Great battle up front. And here's the... Oh, goal. no! Castro Neves gets sideways. Sato. Sato, Sato is in the wall. And the race will end under caution. And Ryan hunter Ray is going to win the championship. Wow. And Ed Carpenter is ahead of Fran Keaty. Ed Carpenter will come off of corner number four, and he is going to win the MAV TV IndyCar World Championships presented by Lucas Oil, while Ryan Hunter Ray is the champion for 2012. The same situation as at Indianapolis, Sato crashes on the last lap, not in contention for the win, but a major player, and Michael Andretti's team wins it. Who's really for you or <laughs> Hunter Ray? Well, it's just a great race to end my career on. Wow.